Hello everyone, it's Nick here, and we're on the Pinball Arcade again, it's Season 4, as we gradually take our journey through this uh, season. It's Pack 36, released as a DLC in 2015, by Farsight Studios, based on the Real Life Table by Williams in 1988. This is Cyclone, which have a production run in units of 9,400. It's based around amusement park theme, uh, pretty much like Fun House, but done slightly differently. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of different things on the playfield. No multi-ball feature though, which is a bit of a shame. There's a Ferris wheel on the top left. Along the playfield is different slots, which represent Boomerang, Comet, Spook House, and the Cyclone, Cyclone Shots mode. And there's a Mystery Wheel on the back glass, which will get a bonus like Extra Ball or bonus points, which I hope that I'll be able to activate with my meager gameplay. Cyclone! Not to get mixed up with a table from the 50s by Gottlieb by the same name. This one was in 1988. Step right up, Step right up folks. Here we go. So there's a haunted looking clown down the bottom. It's no amusement park you want to take your kids, I don't think. Uh, a couple of ramps on this one. You see the Ferris wheel in the top left gradually turning round. And your eagle eyes might be able to see a kissing couple on there if you're, if you're good. Right, here we go. There's the back glass. What are we going to get? We're going to get... Extra ball. Good stuff. Quite a gentle table, this. An open play field. Interesting, interesting uh, theme there. Theme parks. Out of the two, if I was looking for a theme park one, I'd probably pick Funhouse over this. But Funhouse is a bit spooky with that rudy head. Goal free complete. And if you didn't guess already, it's the first time I've actually played this table. But it's going to have to do go some to beat Adam's family, the table I last used in Season 4, because that was pretty good. This is okay. Quite a lot of comic sounds in this. Some seem quite familiar from other tables. Especially that cat sound we just heard. Now, clowns are spooky at the best of times. Blue! I don't know who that was. Check out for the moles, but yeah, definitely needed a multi-ball on this. Why is there no multi-ball? So we've hit the Ferris wheel for a Ferris wheel bonus. No real video modes in this either. It's before they really come into play. Although there were a few of them from this era. But late 80s just really coming in to be honest. Shoot again. So quite elaborate ramps on here. What have we activated there? It's just a fun, gentle table. Nice music all the way through. Ride the wheel. Right, we've got to hit the first, which we've done already. We've hit the first wheel. I've ridden it. Now, the one shot I seem to find difficult so far, so I keep going for it every now and again, is that middle shot there, that hole there. Missed it again, but I got the ramp instead. You'll see my uh, hold bonus in the top right. Currently flashing is one and a half times the bonus points. Let's try and get it up a bit. You can get to a maximum of four if you're any good. Or like me, you could get stuck on one and a half. Whoops. See if I can activate the comet mode. There are some targets here and there. Lots of little pictures of animals, I think. So hitting the ferris wheel doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. Yeah, not too much more you can say about this table, really. I don't think it's a classic table, but okay to play nonetheless. Right, Comet score. Good. Beep. This first ball's lasting a while with the extra balls, which is quite good, so we might get a decent length review out of this, maybe. The aim is already always to get to around about 10 minutes minimum. Uh, we're just coming up to about... Well, four and a half minutes or five minutes. Some of the sounds of this are similar to Taxi. You haven't seen that one. Uh, have a look at that review. And Diner as well. The music gets quite repetitive after a while, I have to say that. Woo. I'm trying to think of another table that has uh, quite a lot of white on the playfield. I can't immediately think of one. A lot of lights on this. I feel like I want to play Theme Park now on the PlayStation or Commodore Amiga after this. 
a similar sort of era, I think. Million point bonus. Well, what can I say? I'm just the best. Am I? Maybe. Maybe not. But this go does seem to be lasting quite a while. Who's the scariest clown out there? Probably Ronald McDonald. He kills quite a lot of cows and burgers, I think. Which is quite ironic, really, because I think Ronald McDonald, the person who played him, was actually uh, a vegetarian. Dearie me, you can't trust clowns, can you? Oh, I think that is the end, is it? Unless we got an extra ball again. So, up to two and a half million so far on the scores. Bonus is held. Shoot again, another extra ball. So once you get the hang of this game, I think it's one of those ones where it's not overly difficult once you get your eye in. And uh, you could be playing this for quite a long time. So many tables. Oops, oh, well, well done, Nick. So many tables, so little time. So that's my worst go so far. Well, my worst ball so far, I should say. Ball two. There's the pop bumpers there up the side. Oh, drain. The coolest of drains. I do like the way the lights go out once you get a ball drain. It sort of like turns itself off. So ball three already. So ball one lasted quite a while. Ball two was pretty much instantaneous death. Let's see. Let's see what ball three brings us. It, it, it brings us almost instantaneous death. Oh dear. Well, we'll be having one more go at this. We have a winner. I've hit the I hit the high score chart anyway, so I can't say fairer than that. Can't remember what table we're going to review after this one. It might be Jackbot, and I like its predecessors really, Pinbot and Bride of Pinbot in particular. She's alive. So Jackpot. Hmm. I'm quite Jackbot. Quite looking forward to reviewing that one. Let's go straight into another game. So three million. Let's see what I can do this time. Hurry, hurry. I'll try my best. Hurry, hurry. Step right up. Into the Ferris wheel. What's it going to do now? Hit it too early, I think. I'd love to design my own pinball table. Is it possible? Eventually, there'll be uh, some sort of a uh, constructor. I'm sure the, the people at Farsight Studios have some sort of generator they use and just put the pieces on the table and measure them. They must have something. They wouldn't design each table from scratch, would they? What do you think about that? Comment below. Have they got a designer they just base all the tables on, some central program? Probably on a PC and they, they transfer it across. Blue! Right, I'm tr I'm, I was trying to hit that middle hole, which I always seem to miss. Ferris wheel seems quite easy. I fancy some, I fancy some candy floss now. There's no candy floss mode in this. I've got it. Good. Round and round she goes. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Who's on that roller coaster? Some very dodgy people. I think they've been kidnapped. What did we get there? I wasn't paying attention. Hopefully it was extra ball. Some interesting sounds going on. Bo -bo 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 oh, drain again. It was only the clown's eyes were lit up that time. Bonus held though. That's not bad. Let's play with the angles. Ball two. So it looks like I'm getting gradually worse. First ball was pretty good. Next two, and the first go at least, seem to go down to nothing. This one, we seem to be losing track fast. I'll try, right, ferris wheel, aim, missed it, won't get it on that one, might be able to get it on this one, oh, the comet, what hole was that, don't drain, oh, oh, it's, oh dear Nicky, tried to hit the comet slot, it rebounded on the coolest of rebounds, straight down the middle, so this will be our last ball here, but what do you think of this table, honestly, so far, cyclone? As I say, I've got it as a middling table. Not one of the best, but not certainly not one of the worst either. That guy's getting on my nerves now. I'm trying to ride all this stuff. If I had multiple, if it had a multiple feature, we'd be hitting all these all the time. It'd be saying jackpot and all that sort of stuff and millions. But yes. Right, we'll hit the Ferris wheel, but maybe a bit too late. Got a bonus of 80,000, which if that happened to me at work, I'd be delighted. In pinball, well, it's got to be millions or nothing, really. 
Does this music ever end? It's typical carnival sort of theme park sort of music. I wouldn't mind it being more circus, like the big top music, like did bib did 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 it. That'd be quite good. Whoa. Come on, let's get that middle one again. No. Oh, it's so hard to hit that. Oh, it's drained again. Will it ever stop draining? What's that clown's name? Something hideously scary. I wouldn't imagine. I would imagine he's got a chainsaw hidden under the table here that's going to chop my arms off, or something equally as scary. Anyway, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Cyclone on the Pinball Arcade, part of Season Four, Table Pack Thirty Six, based on the real life table by w Williams in 1988. This was a DLC in 2015. Thanks for watching that one as always. I hope you're liking this extended series as we go through all the tables of the Pinball Arcade. And to next time, thanks for watching, take care, and goodbye. Goodbye.